What up, YouTubers? Um, I'm doing a video real quick, and I want to show you guys uh, a new wing that I actually got. So, I do love the um, Accord Sport Wing, but I do think it needs a little bit more, um, we'll just say some styling to it. Uh, so, I'm going to show you guys what I got. I actually ordered something over from that big old country called Asia. Uh, the part did come in. It is, in my opinion, it's more of like a duck bill type wing. Um, I took a look at a, at a bunch of different style wings. I didn't like anything that Honda had because um, they just kind of stack on top of each other. They don't really look that good in my opinion. Those of you that have it, uh, cool. <laughs> I, I know on my car, at least on the, on the uh, Platinum Pearl, um, not really my cup of tea. So uh, I looked around. Um, actually, there's one, there's a member uh, on YouTube that you guys have already seen. Um, it's Boosted Whips. I actually really do like that wing. I like the way that it looked on the vehicle. Um, but I think I still wanted to go another route. I kind of like that duckbill look. So I ordered that duckbill wing. Um, it did come in in the uh, factory finish. So I know some people gave me some feedback and they were saying, you know, get it in the black color. I thought about that as well. Just kind of match the black accents that I have to the car. Um, in worst case scenario, I can always paint it black or even get it wrapped black. Um, but it, it did come color matching in the color of my vehicle. So I'm going to take a look at that. Um, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. I'm going to unbox it for you guys. And then we're going to install it on the car. And then you guys can kind of see what it looks like. Uh, give me your opinion on it. it. It's really hard to see online. I mean, there's there's some angles of it that I was unsure of. Um, I do like the way that it comes up and it kind of curves. Um, however, um, we're just going to wait and see when it's on the vehicle and, and see what it looks like. Uh, but for now, let's just let's take a peek and see what it looks like. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this. That way you can see what it looks like. Let's take a look and see how it fits. What's up, everyone? So in the uh, in the last clip that you saw, you saw me unbox the wing, and you saw me put the wing on the trunk. So the thing is, for those of you that were actually paying attention, uh, the wings sit nice and flush with the trunk. Uh, you may have also saw some holes on the trunk. Uh, those holes were from me removing the existing sport wing. Um, one thing I highly recommend you never do, unless you were excited like me, um, test fit your wing before you start to take apart your car. Um, reason being is when I test fitted the, the new duckbill wing, it fit perfectly, but it actually hangs off the rear of the trunk. So it doesn't cover the existing holes that the sport wing left. So I have some options. I can return the wing, um, however it does look really good. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some, some video of it here in a second of, of a walk around. 
Um, I can take my wing to a body shop, have them, or not my wing, I'm sorry, my trunk, take the vehicle to a body shop, have them weld in the holes, and then paint the trunk to match, which seems awfully expensive. Probably looking at least $300 to $500 in work. Um, or I can leave the, the sport wing on there. Now, option three is probably not the choice that I want to do. Um, having the two wings on there, it, it seems a little bit cluttered. I mean, as I talked in the previous video, the reason why I didn't want to do Honda wings was because you stacked them. I mean, there's multiple wings there. I didn't like the look of that. I'm going to show you guys the look of it here in a second. Um, some of you guys may even say, hey, ditch the duckbill wing because you don't like it. Um, but from the previous clip, if you look at the way the wing sits on the trunk without the sport wing on there, it looks good. I mean, it looks it looks aggressive and that's what I'm going for right I want something that's unique I want something that stands out um, so I'm going to show you guys here in a second I'm going to show you the video walk around of what that wing or should I say both wings look like on this vehicle so stay tuned guys so here it is this is the duckbill spoiler and as you can see the sport spoiler is on top and for those of you that have not seen the car I do have the blacked out front on there now with the lip 20 by 9 wheels plus 30 offset and the newest addition is this duckbill spoiler. So the side profile of it, I like it. It looks pretty good. What I don't like is that right there, which is a sport spoiler on top. So in the previous clip that you saw, um, I did not have the sport spoiler mounted. Because like an idiot, I was, uh, you know, a kid on Christmas Day, took this off thinking that it was going to cover part of the top and then also come down, and it doesn't. So when you remove the sport spoiler, you are looking at some holes in the trunk. So this spoiler itself, you can see it is in an identical finish, nice and sparkly as the stock. This is the spoiler, and it actually comes down all the way. So this entire section, all the way up to this Honda badge, is the spoiler. So again, I don't like the way that the sport spoiler sits on top. I do like the duck billow. It looks pretty clean.